what are the best injection sites for testosterone, for TRT? So please discuss the sites and also intramuscular versus sub-Q. This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. Okay, great. This is a question we also get quite a bit. First, I want to tackle the sub-Q versus the uh, intramuscular. Um, we've done a, a lot of research on which is more effective, and I think that there's some conflicting data. Um, in general, I, I, you know, what we've read and what we found is that they're probably pretty similar. Um, I think there are maybe some more negatives to doing the sub-Q uh, because different people are going to metabolize it uh, a little bit differently than the intramuscular. So we find that the uh, IM injections are a little bit more consistent for us. Um, there was a doctor, uh, and I recall uh, Dr. Chrysler, who was a big fan of doing the uh, sub-Q injections, and, and he was doing it twice weekly into his back. Um, again, you know, one of the important things is first we need to find something that works, you know, for everyone. And some people are needle, you know, a little bit more frightened of needles than others. Um, there are uh, the sub Q. Some of the guys get a little bit of a nodule. Uh, you know, the testosterone I think can can in some people not in in because we do have some guys that do sub Q. Um, it, it can be an issue for some guys, and so that's one issue that I, I also find with sub Q. I would say 95%, maybe 98% of our, our clients like the uh, intramuscular, and we like it just because it's consistent, um, it works, and uh, it's, it's pretty simple. In terms of injection sites, I would say that there are three main ones, uh, which are, you can do it into your shoulder, uh, obviously you have your quads, and then you have your uh, glutes. Um, I personally like the uh, my sweet spot, and I think the the majority of our clients would agree is the sweet spot is sort of in the, the uh, hip area. So the upper quadrant of the, uh, the butt cheek and, and more towards the uh, uh, hip area. Um, you know, you're, you're not going to hit anything there. Very, uh, very sort of pain free from our perspective and from the feedback that we get. So I think that that's the, uh, where the majority of our clients, I do have clients that are very uh, big fans of the, of the quad. Um, you know, benefit of that, if you're muscular, you can probably get away with a little bit uh, shorter needle. Uh, you can probably go a little bit lower gauge. And so, you know, this comes down to, I think, individual uh, sort of individual desires, right? Uh, some, some guys actually will, will go through the process process of injecting with a, a 29 gauge a needle, which is very thin. Uh, it takes a little bit longer for the testosterone to actually be injected, uh, but those needles usually come in about a half inch. So if you're pretty muscular and you don't have a lot of body fat, you're actually doing IM even with a half inch and you could do the same into the delt. So some of it is just working with our clients and trying to figure out what's best for them. I always tell each of our clients to try to uh, rotate between the three at first, try to find out what works for them best and then stick with that. And that's what I did. You know, um, part of self-injecting because most guys self-inject, some people have partners. It's probably a little bit easier when someone has a partner to inject, but um, you know, I, I self-inject all the time. So I've, I've tried uh, all three locations. And for me, the sweet spot, like I said, is sort of in that hip area. And then I just rotate, you know, back and forth and I'm never injecting the exact same spot. Um, but uh, that's what we tend to advise. And most guys, uh, most guys really uh, are probably a little bit uh, nervous about it at first. But I think after the first or second shot, it's, uh, you know, they realize that pinching yourself on your wrist is usually much more painful than actually doing a testosterone injection. Hey, thank you, Brian. And now give this video a thumbs up and go watch one of these videos to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.